it's Groundhog's Day. Artwalk. Four. Artwalk for May 2015. Hi, Willie. Do you have artwork today out? Yeah, I have it at Digital Medic. Oh, you do? That worked out, huh? Yes. Okay, and you got that uh, Apple painting? Yes, I do. Yes, I am anxious to uh, be able to videotape that. I've seen it on the internet. Oh, okay. I'm going to turn this off right now, I guess. Or I was just going to, like, I don't know, show the same thing I always show, you know, what the road looks like. I guess you can kind of see how the seasons change, you know, we do this every freaking month. And it's always fun. It's always fun. No, it really is. Okay, and here we are at the new computer store in town. Digital Medics. And they have art this time. Art walk. Do you hear that? And it's the lizard. Is that a lizard? And is a William Cross lizard. See a lot of them out in the deserts, don't you? You cowboys. <laughs> oh my god, they got a good spread again. Oh, they got cupcakes. Oh, those are like the best kind of brownies. Oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're back at it. I, I warned you. I warned you I was going to come back when I was here last time. So. Did you notice the audio on your way in? You know I didn't. <laughs> That's what you asked me last time, didn't you? Well, we just uh, changed it. So on your way out, uh, have a listen. Okay. Okay. And this is the famous apple painting that I have been seeing and hearing so much about. Cool. How long does it take you to paint to do that? How long does it take you to do that, Willie? About six hours. Because yeah, I know you use colored pencils, so it must yeah. take forever. And like the glass, how did you make this look just like a glass? That is so cool. That's just the number two pencil. It looks just like a glass. Okay. So um, I noticed that you seem to like to do natural objects. Do you have to look at a photograph when you're working? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like some, if I look at something long enough, like that apple. There is so much detail in there. I looked at it. It's like, I oh, don't really? like the apple no more. And I just ate it and finished it. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> How about the pears? And the, is that an orange? Yeah, actually, Although I spent a lot of money on it. That's like very expensive for eight bucks for one of those. Where do you buy that expensive food? I was in, uh, I think I was in Detroit. And I went to this grocery store and I was hungry. I'm like, let me get some fruit. And the lady brought it up. I'm like, eight bucks? I better paint it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Oh, and how's business going for you guys? It has started to pick up. Great, great. Thanks to the rise in temperatures. Oh, yeah. We yes, really so? uh, we're, we're gaining a lot of our exposure from foot traffic. Well, you know what? People do not like to go outside in the wintertime. I have found so that out. It's not like, <laughs> we're not like the Canadians. We really don't like the uh, winter out Even here. though we're just south of their border. <laughs> yeah, I know, but nobody likes it. <laughs> nobody has it. But now yeah, that it's yeah. warming up, uh, a lot of students, a lot of visitors, a lot of out-of-towners. We're excited. Is this the music that I'll hear if I'm outside? No. Okay. No, we did a recording. Okay, well, I'm gonna go out there and I'm just gonna sit and I'll come back because I want one of those brownies. Okay. <laughs> Attention college students. We know that your dollars are tight. Digital Medics offers student discounts for all of the Flint area colleges and universities. So stop in or take down our phone number. It's out the door. Do you hear that? So do we. Digital Medics offers business technology support like customized maintenance, telephone, data recovery, and network support. We can be your tech team or back up the one you currently have. So contact us for a free on-site discovery. Find out how Digital Medics can help your business. Stop in or visit digitalmedics.com. <laughs> Good. Oh no, there's so another the one. Center. Another Hi. is that another Junior Thank Carlton you. there, isn't it? <laughs> I love your outfit, by the way. Oh, thank you. 
Cute. <laughs> oh no, what do you got this time? Yeah, exactly. What do you got this time? Before I know, you got the. See, last time we had the hard lotion bars, this time we got soft soap and soft lotion. It's still all probiotic. Oh, do you have that lip balm too? Oh, yeah, the lip balm. Okay, cool. Yeah. I want the lip balm and the soft stuff, but I don't want to carry it around, so I'm going to come back. But this stuff is really good and it smells great. I've got one of those. But I want a jar of the soft stuff. That, these things actually don't are like a dollar. And I want one of those <laughs> lip balms. I know those are good too. Oh yeah, those are the bombs. Oh, how much are those? Oh, you said you wanted. You said two dollars. Is that it? Two dollars? That's cheaper than when you buy it in the store. Wow. Yes, sir. That is. A and what's the difference between it and the stuff you get in the store? This is made with simple organic ingredients, only about maybe six ingredients all together in this total. And it's a good mix. It's, it has beeswax in it from a local bee farm. Buying local is always better than buying from a store because you don't have to put all them stupid preservatives in it to ship long distances and have it sit on a store shelf for months and months. We're going to get struck by lightning if you get me telling the truth. Carrollton, got anything to say that he didn't say, mention about the product? That's no, not much. Okay. Other than she's just cute. Yeah, <laughs> she is. There we go. That, that, because she be on your. because you just have a number beside the paintings. Yeah. But I know it. You, when I saw your photograph, though, you look like someone I've seen in the community before. Are you from Flint? Uh, have you seen someone with a red beard walking around before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, originally from Flint. Matter of fact, the painting over there is a painting of my brother and I. Oh, then that is so cute. Uh, that was the first one I noticed, we, actually. Uh, we lived on Sterling Street on the northwest side. Okay. And that's, Which one is you? Uh, I'm the one in the green. My brother okay. Mike is in the blue. He looks kind of mean. Yeah, well, he was, he was a strong personality. Yeah. But uh, that shows what the typical suburb looked like in Flint in 1950. All those houses were brand new. Yeah. And that oh, wow. car was brand new. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and the house okay. is still there. Well, what? 35, 17 stones. It is. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, where, where else? What else have you got here? Uh, just over here. Every, every painting has a story to it. Yeah, I know. And the story is written uh, beside uh -huh. the painting. Uh -huh. This story happens to be of two grandfathers. This one, my mother's father, and uh, this one is my wife's grandfather. Yeah, they both look of, like that now. Both of them came of age during World War One. Isn't that something? One joined the army, the other one became a musician. So this is kind of the story of your life, but only beginning of before your life. <laughs> Here we go. Well, your, your beginnings. What is this one? This is uh, myself, my son, my uncle, and a friend of mine. And I deer hunted with this fella here for 30 years. Uh -huh. My son was a late cover, but he deer hunted with us every year. Okay. And this picture symbolizes uh, the shaman appearing to us and declaring the end of the hunt. Wow, oh, that's who that is there. I see. That's, okay. the, that's cool. the name of this. After 30 years, I quit hunting. Okay. Oh, you and have? That was the end of the hunt. Shot a lot of deer, had a good time. Uh, this uh, picture here. Is this one across? No. I know this guy. I used to come look at your pottery. 
This guy, this guy makes. Uh, David made. Smallage. I have one of his sculptures at my house. Hey, Dave, how you doing? You did sculpture? Yeah. He's he was kind of a, a mason. Radical. He helped a lot of people. He, he was also kind of a radical. You know, he used to protest right. the war. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, you know him. <laughs> yeah, you I know. know him well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this is, a, is this, this one is here? A, this has no story with it. If you uh, that's see. what I noticed. Yeah, that's that's for the viewer to make up their own story. Okay. But it's very appropriate for the time period. Oh yeah. Going through sure with, is. Uh, trouble with police and young African American men. Yep. Yep. It sure so, uh, is. I included that. In the show. Okay. Here. And what's this one? This is a picture of excuse me, of my sister Annette, who's in the uh, frame. Just trying to. When she was a student in New York City, and uh, she made all these friends from all over the world. Uh -huh. and she told me about her experience, showed me some photos, so I painted this picture for her. For her. And there's New York in for the background. Memories, <laughs> for her memories. Yeah, that's and cool. And the name of this is Saving New York Time. You can see saving stamps oh, all over. Yeah, so it's saving yeah, all yeah. those memories oh, cool. right here. Yeah, great. She became an art teacher. Okay. What's going on over here? I have a little dinky cabin in Glenny, Michigan. Okay. And this is a story of my neighbor, Martha. <laughs> and she was a mail order bride from Kentucky. Oh, really? And uh, after the Second World War, her husband contacted her family and said he, he wanted them to send her daughter to the north. And they said, no, we want to meet you first. So he drove down there and met the family. Uh -huh. and the family said, he's all right. So he brought the daughter back. And <laughs> they were married for 50 years. Wow. She was my That's next, amazing. She was my next door neighbor up north. Everybody knew her. Uh -huh. She was very poor. Her house was in such bad disrepair. Yeah. She told someone she thought she was going to freeze to death one winter. So the community came in. Put her up in a, a friend's home, raise yeah. her home, uh -huh. and build her a new house. Oh, that is and a wonderful story. And all she had to story. do was pay taxes for it. That's a wonderful story. And when story. she passed away, it went back to the community and they sold it. Wow. But she lived in it rent-free for the rest of her life. That is great. Isn't that a nice story? Well, we have so many abandoned houses in Flint, they ought to be considerate. Her husband played an accordion on the Asabo Queen. Up as an Indian to entertain people during the 50s, which a lot of you know in uh, the movies and whatnot, a lot of white people played Indians, which is yeah. very inappropriate. Now. Yeah. Well, he looks like he's But at the time, native, at the time, that's what was taking place. You know? mm -hmm. And she had a picture of him on his on her pillows in, in the living room <laughs> with him with the accordion. This is a, a picture of... You look like gangsters. I was, uh, I'm a Vietnam veteran. And this is a picture of an experience in Vietnam. Oh, they're Germans. When, when, you were, when you were in Vietnam, a certain period of time, they gave you a vacation. They called it rest and relaxation. And they would fly you to Australia, Bangkok, Hawaii, Japan. Place of your choice. Oh, wow. So I chose Australia and I went to Australia. So, it was kind of a surreal experience because you would leave the war for a week and be a citizen. And so, uh, and then a week later, you were back in the jungle. Yeah. So it was kind of, kind of weird, you know. But it was fun. So those are Australians or Aussies. Huh? They're all soldiers and they, they're, they're dressed up. Oh, I see. And they're going to clubs okay. and trying to be yeah, yeah. people and probably drinking and doing whatnot for yeah. a week. Okay. Wait, is that it? Is there any more? Oh, I want to tell you one more thing. Okay. You don't have to videotape it. See this right here? Yeah. I was in that Skoda at a garage sale and I saw this for sale and I said to the lady, is that for sale? She said, yes. I said, well, how much is it? She said, seven bucks. I said, I'll buy it. She said, so tell me the story about it. She said, my father was a Vietnam veteran. Yeah. And he met my mother on R&R &R in Hawaii. And they stayed a week in Hawaii and he stole this from oh, the no. hotel and stuffed it 
it in her bag and she brought it back. That's a great story. And since that time, both of them had passed away and she was selling the contents of this house. And I thought to myself, how romantic, and you're yes. selling this? Yes, really so all I the said, energy that so has I on it. So I said, you sold it to the right guy because I'll keep it and I'll remember that story. Yeah, that's great. And now it's recorded. Yeah, there you go. It's recorded. <laughs> so how about that? Yeah, great. I'm going to turn it off now, okay? Yeah, go okay. ahead. Hey, Juan! Juan, Vondel! There, there we go. Valdez. How you doing? Great. How's Every the uh, How's the coffee Every business? Every day I pick the beans. Yeah. With my mule. Yeah. In this village. Yeah. Free trade. And oh yeah, and so free now trip. you can and now you can afford to come to Flint because that's exactly. where you vacation. Free trade. Yeah. I don't have to talk like free trade anymore. Yeah. I say free trade, free yeah. trade coffee. Yeah. That's the way to go. It is. It is. It really is. Thanks. Thank you, Juan. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, look, there's a uh, balcony for the choir. I don't think they can get up there. <laughs> I'm sure there's a stair, a set of stairs somewhere. Maybe they climb up the stairs.
not sub, is it? <laughs> There's a lot of cars behind him. I hope you know that. Okay, well, I zoomed in. It is Zeb! It's Zeb! 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 Don't fall! Don't fall! <laughs> Woo! I love the new ride, dude! You are ducks! You are the, the duck's knees! Is that how you say it? It's Zeb! I am at St. Is it St. Paul's? This is St. Paul's, right? Yeah. yeah, I get the two churches mixed up sometimes. Yeah. And this is Margaret, and you have your artwork here. I do. Now, what? How? So, how do you say your name, your first and your last, so that it, we can find you if we wanted to on Facebook? Okay. The, my, the, I say it. My name is Margaret Schlader. Okay. Uh, you're on Facebook too, aren't you? I'm on Facebook. Yeah, it's exactly. Good, it's, it's so convenient, isn't it? I know. Okay. So anyway, yeah. what kind of artwork do you have here? Um, what, what is the medium anyway? This is. Uh, Art markers and pastels. I use a lot of art markers and then for the background I use pastels. Okay. Uh, 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 mixed uh, media. Prismacolor? Pardon? The marker is Prismacolor? It's Prismacolor and Prismacolor. But now I use Prismacolor because it gets That's what I use, Prismacolor. Yeah. Color pencil. Yeah, the, it's the brand. I like the brand. This is a pastel. This is all pastel. Okay. Yeah. And, and these are not prints, these are originals, right? These are originals, yes, exactly. And this again is... Um, and they're, they're priced so reasonable because this is like $90? Is that what that says? Yes. Because, you know, I want to... I want. I, I want to sell things. I want people to have these pieces in their homes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want them at home in my closet. <laughs> so <Exactly. laughs> great, great, great yeah. thinking. Yeah. I love that little bird. So is it mostly natural things or do I see candles over there? Um, I, like I get geometric inspired shapes. often by the season. Like I have a lot of fall themes, fall colors. Mm -hmm. So I get inspired by the, the colors of that season, and oftentimes I just, uh, whatever, I don't know, you know. Whatever, whatever inspires you that day. <laughs> and I see you had some more up here. Oh no, this looks like a canvas painting, is it? This is a canvas print. The original mm. is in, in uh, pastels. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that one also. Okay, that, and this one I think I did photograph already, but let me get that in there again. Cool, so if they wanted to find you on Facebook, I don't want to like be captured, but you've probably got like a Flint uh, address or something so they would know it was you. Or maybe you have some little card I could zoom in on. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Just in case somebody <laughs> is interested and so I spell everything correctly. Okay, you can great. Find me on Facebook. Okay. Thanks a lot. You okay. got a website too with your art on it? No. Okay. No, I'm only on I have a Facebook page and that's it. Free okay. advertisement. Great. Thanks a lot. from you before. Ooh, that didn't sound good. No, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to get some tickets. Are you going to hang out? Hi, how are you? I just, I didn't get, they were, they were being videotaped by somebody else when I was here earlier, so. Yeah, <laughs> you always run.
thank you for letting me sit in, you guys. It took me forever to find the one. I didn't miss it. behind my shed looking ass. I'm just trying to get you to slap me. Can you please do that? Great. What are you doing? Oh, just getting a little bit wet. Having Randall time. <laughs> Isn't it fun though? It's so fun. It's so nice out. It is. It's just a little bit wet. I just yeah. worry about the camera though. I think I should walk inside with it. Right on. I've got Dragon wagon. You're giving me for da Dragon wagon, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna check cool. those guys cool. out. Yeah. Oh, there's so much fun. You'll love it. Yeah. Great. Hi. Hi. That's like that, that's like life threatening more than disease almost.
How'd you feel only showing with other women? I loved it. I, I think it's empowering for all of us women to get together and to show what we can do and show how powerful we can be even without women. Hello there! Uh oh, we got out. R2O. Oh. It was awesome. It was really fun. That's fantastic. <laughs> Justin Favor over here today. Yep. Yep. What did you um, think about Art Walk tonight? It was a good Art Walk. It was a good Art Walk? Yep. Um, I don't know. I mean, I enjoyed it. That's good. Um, it was always a good time. Tell me about this KPU. Um, well, I mean, it's a, it's a school of higher learning. It's here in Flint. A uh, prestigious school. Um, T-shirts are available. They're out there. Um, that's about all I can say. I really don't know. <laughs> Enjoying Art Walk? Yeah. Art Walk. Yeah. You're gonna need to sign a release, so be around after 2:30. I'm just kidding. You don't have to do anything. Limbo. Limbo. Oh, look who it is. What up, Brad? Hey. How you doing? Great. Yeah. It's great. I know. Other side of the chain. Welcome to Flint. Flint, Michigan. Welcome to it. I know. That's why I'm doing it. They need to feel like I do all the time. We need it on a wheeled cart. Flint, Michigan. Welcome to it. Most dangerous city in the world, isn't it, Abby? But most beautiful souls around. You just can't go wrong with the souls around here. So artistic, so talented. I don't know if he's telling the truth. Or it not. is the truth. They've been here five years. It's gotta be. Most of the Indians would not stay here for five long years. If it's Abby, I probably assume he's telling the truth. <laughs> he's a very truthful man. It's only because, you know, it's, it's Good such a beautiful city. Good human being. You know, it's just a wonderful city. I, I never expected what, what I, I have felt. What I've believed, what I've seen, uh, it's just amazing. I love Flint. And I got to meet Abby, which is even better. <laughs> and I got to meet Eric Hines. Beautiful soul. Beautiful soul. <laughs> Alright, y'all. One! So what do you have here? What is this? Crystals? Rocks? What is um, all of this? Everything from gems to gemstones to crystals. Um, this is new might right here, this obelisk. It's the oldest uh, gemstone ever created on Earth. It's been around for And you, know, you have it right here. <laughs> and that's probably the biggest piece I've ever seen. Oh really? Okay. You know, lapis lazuli is a stone of inner vision. It's a stone of royalty, the royal art, the royal alchemy. Um, you know, if you give somebody lapis, it's, you know, you're gifting them, you know, the gift of inner vision. Faden quartz is a very rare quartz here. You know, like, you know, we won't see these in crystal shops because they terminate on the sides versus the top. Like, see how these are top terminated? You know? That's how a normal quartz would terminate. Well, these terminate on the sides, sideways. And they got the fading line in them because somewhere during the growth process, they were disturbed or broke, maybe an earthquake or something, and then it healed over and kept growing. Hence the name Faden. Um, you know, and then of course, 
some people are more into the more extravagant, expensive stuff, which I don't like put prices on these beauties. But, you know, green tourmaline would be more of like a gem gem. And of course, morganite is more of like a gem gem, you know. Um, so you do, think, do you think they have healing powers? All of them do, yes. Yes, and you know that. Yes, I know. What are you wearing? I am wearing Moldavite right here. This is made from asteroid gas. When an asteroid came into the Czech Republic 40,000 years ago, asteroid? the gas cooled down in our atmosphere and created tektites. I have several different kinds. This is Tibetan tektite, which you can tell the gas mixed more with the carbon of the earth. And then I also have a Libyan golden tektite from a different asteroid site. And you got that in your pocket, so you always carry it with yeah, you. Yeah, I carry lots of different stones. Did you ever lose that stuff in the laundry? No, I'm pretty good at keeping track. Okay. At first, I had trouble keeping a lot of stones. You know, but they'd always show up, you know, just at the right time, you know, when I needed to. Oh. Yeah, there is, I really want to show you that particular one, so you can see how different, it, like. There you go. Very, that see, that's like hardly got any carbon mixed in it. It's just straight, well, it hit in the desert. Because, see, when lightning hits sand, it can also create something Glass. similar to this, and they call that Egyptian desert glass. Yeah. So, so that's the, not what that is? No. They, even though they'll call it that, it's, this is an actual golden, Libyan golden tectite from meteorite gas. I, I just always think of meteorites as being black. No, that would be the meteorite. Oh, I see. And that's it's the glass sound. made from it in the yeah, sand? Yeah, this is the, no, this is the gas cooling down in the atmosphere. Oh my gosh. It's hard. Whereas that's amazing. the actual meteorite, you're going to buy it as meteorite. That's amazing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look metalish. Yeah. You know. And, okay, well, wait, okay, say if I wasn't at Art Walk, where would I be able to get hold of you? Um, uh, you would uh, be able to get a hold of me to my phone or my Facebook. You want, um, if you want to put your phone number on here, I just put this on. Uh, are you, on are you going to watch it when you... Like I'll put a caption for you if you want. Yeah. Um, so you can give your phone number if you want. Uh, Depends on if you want. 810 893 2713-810-893-2713, Jason Hardenberg. Okay, is that what you're called on Facebook too? No, it's Jason, then D-I-S, another word, Dis, mm -hmm. and then Anarchomus, spell A-N-A-R-C-H-E-L-M-I-S-T. Okay. So you're taking the word anarch? Yeah. And you're putting list at the end. And instead of anarch. So okay. A N A R C H E L M I S T. I'm going to write that down. Yeah, I was going to say, do you have a business card? Because I could zoom in on But I'm starting to get wet, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to see what's going on in this nook. Here, I'll write this down. I want to see what's going on in the nook. I'll write this down real quick for you. So you can just connect with me on Facebook. This Friday, though, I have to go into the hospital for three weeks because I just had a heart attack. So Whoa. I'm kind of out here raising funds. Not for to pay for the procedures, but just so I have money to take care of my business and my oh, life yeah. while I'm yeah. in the hospital laid up. <laughs> That's my Facebook. Yeah, it's kind of a long word. I came up with it years ago. And now they're all like, Facebook's like, if you change your name, you know, they're like, the it's fake names, you know, what Facebook's doing. They're making yeah. everybody use their real name. And, yeah. And oh, like, yeah, yeah. They won't let me or, change my birthday yeah, anymore. Yeah, if you try to change it to your birth name. And then, I've, been, I was, I've been 69 for several, several many years. Right. And uh, finally, they just said, you can't change your birthday again. So, boo on Facebook. Hey, also, 
I'm in a reading, I got my crystal oracle bag. Oh. Very loving that. Very loving that. Always positive. Okay, great. <laughs> Stop. Stop. 